I'm so excited to be here talking about the future of storytelling, and, and partially because I feel like we are there. We are living in the science fiction future. We are there. You think of Star Wars, you think of Star Trek, all these shows. But the thing is, when we think of science fiction, we so often think of uh, technology, we think of gadgets, and we don't often enough think about the human experience, about empathy, camaraderie, compassion, human beings. And that's really, for me, what Avatar Secrets um, is about, what, what compels all of my work, but really what dro drove this project, too. I had gone into the virtual world looking for those aha moments. What is the addictive allure? It's more than just the game. It's more than just the technology, the gadgets. And that's what I found, and that's what the Avatar Secrets were, were these secrets about real world, about connection, about empathy, about success in our relationships in, in life in general uh, through the game. And so you can see this is from the beginning of the project. Who you are shapes the experience. It changes the game. But we shy away from those very same existential questions in real life. But the real beauty was that in this world, you could be anyone you wanted to be. You could create anything you imagined and discover anything you were seeking. What you get from the game world is that there is no extra bonus points for going at it alone. You share the burden, you share the bounty. And it was really tremendous lessons that I think also showed us sort of the addictive allure of these online worlds, of the digital, is connective technology, networked technology. It is each other. And I think when we look at what's drawing us so much to these, it's also showing us some of the deficits that are in the real world. And so it's not that this, the project was ever saying, you know, the answer is over there. It's saying, you know, what are the questions we need to be asking about our real life as well? We're constantly living in these two worlds. We're constantly living in this hybrid space. And we needed to reflect that in our aesthetics. The theme was part of the visuals. We live for moments of connection, of pure emotion. With the aesthetic, part of what we wanted to do was explore that hybrid reality, explore the idea that we're constantly straddling these two worlds. And so we developed the uh, graphic novels type visualization to go between worlds. But we also didn't want it to be that you know the virtual world was drawn and real world was uh, live action. Because a, a, it felt a little bit cheesy, but it also didn't, didn't speak to the real reality. The reality is that with our cell phones in our pockets, that digital world is always with us. And yet people are having their most profound experiences in the online world. So the online world is very very real, and the real world is very digital, and that's what we wanted to explore, and that's what we really wanted to explore through the aesthetics, too. So while we're, while we're used to exploring screens sort of side-scrolling, going up and down, it's a very flat experience, but we wanted to talk about immersion. We wanted to talk about emotional immersion and, you know, diving deeper into a world and pulling back into reality. As you're going through these stories, there's all these different places where you can tap in and dig deeper into specific themes, into specific stories, open up scenes, open up moments, uh, or dive into ideas in terms of the research that's there. And then also, how did we get in the case studies that had inspired this journey in the first place? So the iPad really was this beautiful app uh, that gave us the opportunity to really go deep in terms of that experience and let people guide their journey as they want to. AvatarSecrets.com is the website. Uh, you can subscribe. You can get more of this sort of, we put behind the scenes information up, uh, some of these scenes as we go, and more information. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you.